A few days ago, Bioware released their official reveal trailer for the HD remaster. showcasing shots from all three games with their new and improved 4K Ultra HD graphics. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw the trailer, I was slightly underwhelmed. It looked incredible, but it was hard for me to tell the difference from the originals. I'll link the video down below that takes the trailer shot by shot, comparing each scene from the trailer with the original games. Once I saw that video, I was able to fully experience just how much the graphics have improved. Lots of people are bummed because they aren't getting new content or a full overhaul of the game, but honestly, I think a basic remaster is more than enough. Bioware's idea behind the remaster is to modernize the Mass Effect experience and open the game up to a wider and newer audience. Clearly, Bioware is not done with the Mass Effect franchise, and they want to get people excited for Mass Effect again. It makes sense, especially with the announcement of Mass Effect 5. $60 is an incredible deal, especially when you're getting three full games, including over 40 DLC. For people who have never played the series before, that would be an incredible steal. And for people who have already played the game, that price tag is still completely worth it. Mass Effect 1 will have the most work done with it. Controller support, 60 FPS play, and a modernized UI are just a few of the improvements that we will see. The Legendary Edition will also make importing characters between the games much easier. But the most important improvement that they are making is shortening the elevator rides. Now the scenes should load much faster, and there will even be an option to skip the dialogue once everything is loaded. Another cool thing that they are doing is making a universal character creator and adding more customization for character creating, including a wider variety of skin colors and hairstyles. This also means that Female Shepard will be standardized throughout all the games. Overall, I'm really excited to see the old squad in their new HD models. In fact, I was expecting less than what they've shown, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Of course, everyone would be excited to see cut content added, especially with the recent articles talking about characters who were originally supposed to be LGBT. However, I personally am more than satisfied with what we've seen so far and I can't wait for May 14th. Well everyone, that is all for today. If more news comes out about Mass Effect Legendary Edition, I will surely talk about it. I would love to hear your opinions about the remaster in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video at all, please leave a like and subscribe for more content every single weekday. I will see you guys in the next video. I should go.